So I got lots of projects on the go. Just took the motor off that big walk behind mower for a customer who's got the commercial jobs. The Briggs, nine horse. Anyway, single cylinder, overhead valve. So his complaint was, it sounded like it threw a rod. He said it didn't make knocking noises. He says it just suddenly made a clunk and stopped. So, rotate, clunk, rotate, clunk. It won't do a full rotation. Sure sounds like that to me. I've already checked the sides of the crankcase on both sides. It's not cracked or blown out, so we have potential to repair this motor. Of course, first thing I did was remove the spark plug and just check it wasn't hydrolocked with gas or oil. <laughs> Hope you check that first always. So now just remove the perimeter bolts, pop the cover off and let's see what's happening. Almost there. Oh, loose enough. Well, I didn't even drain the oil out of this one, just because I can easy just pick it up and dump it in there. That would be faster than draining it the conventional way. I don't even see any signs of metal grits, so that's a good thing. Well, that's odd. Look at that. The connect connecting rod's still attached, but it won't turn. I wonder what happened. Unless the piston's hitting a valve. So it appears that taking the bottom of the motor off was a total waste of time. Everything in here is working right. But it gets stuck at the top, just like he said. I think it's hitting a valve. So, now to take the head off. Well, first thing wrong, way too much play on this rocker arm. Well, that's always a sign of a bent valve, even in your car. If it's on, set on TDC, that's the best way to check these things. So, I had to remove the muffler. Now to get the head bolts off. I'm almost thinking this motor sucked in some nut or bolt or something. I remember in the winter time, he converted this thing to be electric start. Put a battery on it, and he had to buy a different flywheel that had the teeth on the side. And we're off. Oh my god, I never saw that happen before. Not in a lawnmower engine. I wonder why. Weird. It snapped the valve off. Totally strange. Well, simple enough to fix. It stopped the motor so quickly it only hit it once and that was it. Didn't even hardly damage the piston. That doesn't mean nothing. Hmm. Let's check the side of the cylinder. Perfect. Oh well. Got to buy one valve. Hmm. Well, more bad news. That piece of the post of the valve hit the head right there and put a big indentation and it indented it so much it squished in the steel valve seat so it's all warped that way so even though the valve may not be bent it's sticking out and not closing because the seat is sticking in and hitting it so far so the head's no good this guy needs some head I'll just have to get some for him Oh well, not a cheap job like I thought. <laughs> tisk tisk. Guess the update will have to come when I get the parts. Some random cattage while I'm working. Anyways, the owner brought me some new parts. New head, new valves, new gaskets, new push rods, the whole bit. So now it's time to put things back together. So, just set the head on now as I've got the gasket on. 
tighten the bolts down all evenly, crisscross pattern, and I do the mic in three stages to get the tension right. Next step is put the push rods in. Head is tightened, push rods are in. Now just set these on top. Make sure your little caps are on top. Just one on each valve. I've got the engine set to TDC. You know that because there's the magnet lining up with the magneto. And when I rotated around, it was the position where both valves were all the way up. So now everything's ready to set the valves. The valves have this little locking screw in the middle. It happens to fit a torque screwdriver. So I want to set them, I don't even know what the specs are for this engine, but ten thousandths of an inch gap is pretty standard for a lot of engines. Definitely your engine will run without a problem like that. So I have to figure out exactly where to set this tension nut because it just moves around loosely and then when I get it in the right spot to have the right play then I tighten the set screw down and it'll lock the screw so it can't unscrew itself. That's very important to lock the screw, lock this nut down or this little threaded shaft down because if it starts loosening everything will come apart. Of course your engine won't run, it'll make lots of noise. Okay, they're set. this one's set right anyways, this one's not so it's really loose. So it has a little bit of sideways rock and about 10 thou of up and down and this is very tight. I've locked the set screw and everything so now we gotta do this one. Now they're both set so I'm ready to put the valve cover back on. I've already got the new gasket on it. Spark plugs in. Now tighten the exhaust manifold. Covers all tightened down evenly. All done now. Just the final pulley. I always prefer to put those things on with an air tool so they don't loosen. The bolt will fall out and you wouldn't even know it. You'd keep using it for a while. Well, then your pulley would drop off and you would know it. But you wouldn't know where you left your bolt. Now to drop her back on while carefully putting the belts around the pulleys at the same time. Never forget to add the oil at the end. All set, let's see if she starts. Perfect! First try! I gotta like it! Now there's some beer money. Sweet.